From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Big Blue Nation after a car crash takes the life of a former Kentucky basketball player. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Anna Cherulo. What a range of emotions it's been for Big Blue Nation over the past 24 hours. Yeah, as the volleyball team made history in the Final Four, we learned of the loss of former UK basketball player Terrence Clark. We're going to do our best to navigate you through both of those stories tonight. First up, more on the loss of uh, Kentucky freshman. Police say Terrence Clark was driving in Los Angeles yesterday afternoon when he ran a red light and hit another vehicle at a high rate of speed. Clark's vehicle ran into a pole and then hit a wall. He was taken to a hospital where he passed away. Former teammate BJ Boston was following in the vehicle behind him but was not injured. Clark had just finished his freshman season with the Wildcats. Last month he announced he would be declaring for the NBA draft. He was 19 years old and is survived by his parents and three siblings. And tributes to Clark started pouring in immediately, including this one from John Calipari. Last night, Coach Cal tweeted, I am absolutely gutted and sick tonight. I ask that everyone take a moment tonight to say a prayer for Terrence Clark and his family. Calipari also wrote he is heading to L.A. to be with the Clark family. Cal later expanded on his thoughts in a blog post at CoachCal.com. UK Athletics Director Mitch Barnhart says they are stunned by this sudden heartbreaking tragedy. He said Terrence was a young man who was so full of life. And you know, we talk a lot about La Familia here and times like these show us why. Social media flooded with tributes to Clark. His former teammates Isaiah Jackson, Lance Ware, Keon Brooks, Olivier Saar, Jacob Toppin, and Cameron Fletcher, they're all hurting. Program alums like Carl Anthony Towns, Bam Adebayo, Jared Vanderbilt, Ennis Cantor, Emmanuel Quickly, Tyrese Maxey, Tyler Eulis, they also shared heartfelt messages and even NBA stars including LeBron James, Donovan Mitchell, and fellow Boston guys like Kemba Walker and Jalen Brown. Even rivals, a word that feels so insignificant today, extended condolences to Clark's loved ones, including Louisville coach Chris Mack and the official North Carolina basketball page. Clark had already made such an impact on the basketball world. And on UK's campus, it was definitely a somber day, particularly within the athletic community. One member of Kentucky's track team says the news hit them hard. He said it will be a rough couple of days to get through. So I know as a Kentucky athletic community, this is more of a stronger bond. I don't know about other schools, but I know for us it's very strong. Um, people tend to bond together pretty well. So um, I've, I met the guy once, twice. I know a lot of other people uh, on different athletic teams. I've met him a lot of times. So you could consider him part of a family, I would say. Uh, it's, it's a real shame. It really is. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure he was going over to a specific organization to go training for the NBA draft. So that was going to be a big step in his life. So to have that happen to him very early, it was just a real shame. Keon Brooks posted on social media about a candlelight vigil being held for Terrence tonight at 830 outside Wildcat Lodge. The address is 318 College View Avenue. News of Clark's death even drew reaction from the Boston Celtics since Clark was a Boston native who grew up rooting for his hometown team. To be honest, as I was walking down the hallway, I just heard this news about Terrence Clark and um, not sure how much I'd want to talk about the game um, when you when you consider it a Boston kid. You know, I don't know what's what's real yet. I have not heard anything confirmed, but I've read what you've read, and you know, those kids are important to us here. And even though I didn't, you know, I've never met him. You know, my son looks up to him, and um, hard to talk about a basketball game with with even the idea that that's floating out there. And he's a very, very good kid, you know, just always smiling, always energetic. And he was about to get his opportunity too. Um, you know, my condolences to his family. 
Despite missing most of this past season with an injury, Clark remained a talented prospect with a bright future. He was limited to eight games in his one season at Kentucky because of a right leg injury. He started in six games and averaged just under 10 points, two and a half rebounds, and two assists per game. Clark signed with UK out of Boston as one of the top prospects in the 2020 high school class. We'll discuss Kentucky Volleyball's advance to the NCAA championship when we return.